how to use AppSheet. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use AppSheet. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to AppSheet.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know AppSheet, it is a no-code application development platform that allows users to create mobile, tablet, and web applications using data sources like Google Drive, Dropbox, Office 365, and other cloud-based services, in which it is available from both a self-service model and a corporate licensing model for a larger organizations with more governance, data analytics, and performance option. And aside from that, AppSheet is a true no-code platform, which means anyone can build rich apps and automated processes without writing a line of code. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. And to see those plan, kindly proceed by clicking this pricing option on the top panel. And below here, it will show you some of the plan that this platform offer, including a starter, a core, enterprise standard, and enterprise plus. And below, you will see the corresponding prices of each plan and the list of benefits included on each plan. And aside from that, if you scroll down below here, you will be able to see the frequently asked question in which by clicking on each question, it will show you the corresponding answers. And now to get started for free on this platform, just proceed by clicking the get started button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you a variety of methods that you can use to sign in on this platform, including with the use of Google account, Microsoft, your Apple ID, Dropbox, Smartsheet, and many more. But in those options, I'm going to choose to sign in using my Google account. So kind of click on it, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to answer their questions by selecting your answers that are given in here, such as for the first question, which is what team do you work on? By clicking on a question, it will show you some of the answers that you can select, including IT and support, customer service, manufacturing and supply chain, but I'm going to choose product design and engineering. Well, for the next question, what processes can we help simplify? And after that, by simply clicking the questions, it will show you the answers that you can choose, including project and task management, inventory and location tracking, and many more. Well, for the next question, which best describes you? And now, after answering all of the questions, just proceed by clicking the submit button below. And from here, it will show you the homepage of AppSheet.com, in which you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, including the recent share with me, owned by me, and the templates, in which under the recent, it will show you some of the application that you have been generated or build, and also the database that you use in order to build in AppSheet your own applications. So basically from here, you can see the most recent entries or changes made to the application or the data source used by the app. And aside from that, by clicking the share with me option on the left side panel, in which it allows users to share their app with other users or collaborators. And these features can be used to give other access to the app, its data source, and even its functionality, as well as to collaborate on the app's development and maintenance. While under the Own by Me option on the left side panel, it will show you the apps that you have been created and own. And aside from that, this feature can be used to manage and organize your own apps as well as to view and edit the app's configuration data. While by clicking the template option on the left side panel, from here it will show you or provides you with a pre-built app templates that can be customized or used as an inspiration to make your own projects, in which these templates cover a variety of common app use cases such as inventory management, project tracking, and customer relationship management, and many more. And if you're looking for a specific kind of app, you can simply enter it on the search bar. For example, real estate, in which you will see here a variety of templates that you can use on the results. Now to start creating an app, all we need to do is to go back to this page and proceed by clicking the create button on the left side panel, 
and just click the app, in which it will show you the three options that you can choose, such as to start with existing data, to start with a template, and also start from scratch or blank app. But in those options, I'm going to choose to start with a template, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, and from here, you will see a variety of templates again that you can use as an inspiration in creating your own app. And to select a template, can you proceed by clicking the copy button below, in which by clicking on it, it will show you this pop-up window. And from here, you can start customizing the app name and also choose a category below. And after that, just proceed by clicking the copy button below. Now moving on, you will be directed on this page, in which from here you can start customizing your application based on the templates given. And as you can see on the left side panel, some of the options or editing tools that you can start navigating in order to customize your application. And aside from that, below here, it will show you the suggested next steps that you can use as a guide, customizing the screens, the columns, and even the brand of your app. And by clicking the data on the left side panel, from here, it will show you a variety of category, clients, and expenses that you could also customize the name, the type, the label, and even the formula of the category, in which this feature can be used to set up the data source, define entities and properties, and specify how data is displayed and manipulated in the application. And from here, you could also customize input forms to control the presentations of data and in order to add or edit the data app on this page. And from here, the data option, you could also connect the app to a variety of data sources like Google Sheets, Excel, and any other applications. And aside from that, from here, you will see on the right side panel what your application looks like when a user try to access your apps. And since we choose expenses as a template, the main purpose of this app is to track business expenses and generate expenses reports. And from here on the right side panel, you can start navigating some of the options in order to experience or to see what the users can do by simply using your apps. And aside from data options on the left side panel, you could also navigate the other options, including these views, in which the purpose of this is to control how, when, and where data is presented to the app user and how the user interacts with the data, in which this feature can be used to create and customize different types of views, such as calendar, deck, table, gallery, detail, and many more. And aside from that, under the Actions option, from here you will be able to define a specific operations that can be performed on the app's data, in which this feature can be used to create and customize different types of actions, such as navigation, data change, external, and group actions, which is very helpful in building an application. So basically, this option provides a powerful way to create and customize different actions that can be performed on the app's data. And aside from that, if you are now done customizing your application, you could also share the results by clicking the share button on the top panel. And from here, to share the app, all you need to do is to enter the email address of the recipient, or you can simply copy the sharing links and share it via email, messenger, or any other platform. So that is just how you can use AppSheet. Thank you.